Hello, everybody. So, we, welcome back. Um, last time we talked, we were discussing and learning about how to find the area and the perimeter of a square or rectangle or a parallelogram, really talking about quadrilaterals. We talked about how the area is the space inside of the shape. That's right, I didn't forget my song, the space inside of the shape, the space inside of the shape. And we talked about how the perimeter is the outside of the shape. And I kind of showed you in the picture, but I'm going to talk to you really quickly right now. And I'm going to real go over perimeter of a triangle. So I got right here, I got my first board, perimeter. We have a triangle. Again, the triangle has three sides. And if I look, eight, seven, and nine is how I did it. One thing I noticed sometimes, if you're having trouble, take a pen, draw it, and go. Well, what side did I just go over? That was the eight. I just went over the seven. Eight plus seven plus nine. If you put it into you, into a calculator, eight plus seven plus nine is 24 inches. Don't forget to label 24 inches. I have a few other examples to look at. I got a triangle here that had two, three, five. So to find the perimeter, I'm just adding two plus three plus five. Two plus three is five. 5 plus 5 is 10, so is 10 centimeters. Don't forget to label. This one, we have a right triangle, and in the right triangle, we have 3, 4, 5. I added 3 plus 4 plus 5. 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12 feet. Label, label, label. I, I'm going to go kind of quickly there because I think the perimeter is pretty easy. Where we have trouble, though, is when you're going to have a problem that looks like this. And you're going to have a problem that looks like this because in order to find the area, which I'm going to explain in a second, sometimes you have something what's called the height. So if we look at this line. We have our triangle and we have another line in the middle. And here is the issue. What happens a lot of times is people want to do 11 plus 11 plus 13 plus 9. But you're not doing that. Remember when we're talking about the perimeter, the perimeter is the outside. So if I go through this line, that line is 11 plus. I go down this way. You see how I'm doing that? 11 plus 11 plus my last line here is 13. 11 plus 11 is 22. I have plus 13. Of course, you can use a calculator and just do it in one through. 13 plus 2 is 35, and I would label that as meters. 35 meters. So, did I add in this line in the middle? Absolutely no. You do not do the line in the middle because the perimeter is the outside. So make sure you don't do that. And we're going to come back to some practice in just a moment, but I'd like to now jump to area. How do you find the area of a triangle? Well, let's think a little bit. What was the area, the formula we used to find the area of a quadrilateral? I want you to think for a second. Yeah, I, I, hear, I think I hear it. I'm not positive. That, I think that's right. You're right. We talked about that we wanted an area to be base times height. And then last week, we also knew that if I took a quadrilateral and I cut it in half, I'm left with two triangles. So doesn't it make sense that a triangle is half of a square? Yeah, it is. So the formula we use for a quadrilateral is base times height. That's not the formula we're going to be using for a triangle. For a triangle, we're going to be using the formula one half base times height. That can also be written, as you can see, as one half times base times height. Now, in my classroom, We've gone over this all year long, that if we have a fraction, we're going to use our calculators and do 1 ABC2. But I know some of you don't have the same calculators at home, so what is 1 half? 
Well, if you take the Cowboy home and you turn it to a decimal, the one half is actually 0.5. So I've also written this as 0.5 BH. One half and 0.5 are the same. So if you don't have the calculators we use at school and you don't have the ABC button, you can write it as 0.5 times B times H. One half base times height or 0.5 times base times height. They are the same. So let's practice this all together because this is what your problems are going to look like when you get done. I have two examples right here. So the first part, we got to find the perimeter. So the perimeter is pretty easy. The perimeter equals, and I'm going to go 8 plus 10 plus 6 because I'm, remember the perimeter is the outside. 8 plus 10 is 18 plus 6. 18 plus 6 is 24 feet. Now, let's think about it. What was that formula I just taught you for the area? Area equals... Yes, you're right. I heard that. Great. It's one half... BH, or I'm going to write a small 0.5BH. I'm going to use the both of them, but I, I don't have a lot of room, so I'm only going to use the one half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it out. I'm going to write area equals one half. Wait a second. What is my base? What is my height? What's my base? What's my height? I don't know. Wait, I do know. Someone smart the other day made a video. And what did that person say? Any time to circle, circle the what? Yes, 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 that's right. We're circling the 90 degree angle. Look at that. Just like yes, Tuesday. So I circled the right angle. And what two numbers am I going to? Do, 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 do. I'm going to the six. Do, 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 do. I'm going to the eight. One half times six times eight. You could put that all the way through your calculator, or I can do one half times six is three. Three times eight is 24. And you guys remember what we have to do here? Think about it. Yes, you're right about labeling it, but what makes it special? Yes, thank you. I heard that. Heard that over there in the right-hand corner. You're right. I have to square it. I have to square it. So that was the example for problem number one. I'm now going to erase this because there's not a lot of room. Because I want to work on this other problem. So this is kind of hard to see, so I apologize. So that was six. So now what I got to think about, I got to find the perimeter. I always like to do the perimeter first, and I'm going to add. The perimeter equals the outside. I'm going to draw that line. That's 7. I'm going to go down this way is 9. Plus, I'm going to go this way is 12. Did I go to the 6? No. I'm only adding the outside. 7 plus 9 is 16 plus 12. 16 plus 12 is 28 centimeters. 28 centimeters. Now I got to do what? That's right. I got to find the area. Area equals. Yes, I like that idea. I'm going to. You're right. Thank you. That's a good idea. The last time I used one half. So this time I'm going to do point five B H which is the same as 0.5 times base times height. I always like to take the time to spread it out. Now I'm going to, yes, I heard that, but I'm not sure, let me, yes, I'm gonna circle my box. See how I circle my box? Now when I circle it, I'm gonna go do, 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 do. I hit that line. What line is that? If I look above it, that is six. So I have 0.5 times 6 times do, 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 do. That line is 12. 
0.5 times 6 is 3 times 12. 3 times 12 is 36 centimeters squared. 36 centimeters squared. So you've now had some examples. I hope you understand. If you have any questions, feel free to come on Zoom. Can't wait to see you guys. We're having a lot of fun. Only a few more weeks left and you don't want to miss me because we know how hard it is and how much you all miss me as much as I miss all of you guys. Hope to see you guys later. Bye.